Hello and welcome to my online class that I created through Course Sites for EDT 6020 Wilmington University. You are now viewing my home page um, and I decorated my home page with my school colors, green and orange, Blanche Ely High School colors. The course that you are viewing now is entitled Drawing and Painting 1. In the state of Florida, students are required to take one virtual class prior to graduation in order to fulfill their high school requirements. So I decided to decorate my virtual classroom in our school colors so that my virtual students can feel very much a part of the high school that they belong to. As you look over here to the left hand menu, you will see that I have it very clearly stated that my students are to start here for general information. In the general information tab of this course, my students are able to access the syllabus and the first and second semester outline. I will take a moment to open this because it was one of the parts of the EDT 60 course that I found most useful to me. And because of how useful it was to me, I wanted to duplicate it for my students. I feel that a very clean visual outline of exactly what is required so each student, especially high school students, can look and see week one, this is the assignments, and this is what's due this week. And if it's, it was very helpful for me as I navigated through EDT 6020 to see what was due. And I wanted to help my students with the same issue. Sometimes virtual classrooms can feel a little cluttered and you keep going back to see what's due. I try to keep this as simple and clean as possible. As you view my first week's assignments, and I'm going to scan, scan down here so you can see that I have an introduction. I'll um, go back up and look at that in a minute. And then I have my four um, lessons, and then I end with a group lesson. So let's go back up and begin in the beginning. I thought the, that it would be very beneficial to my students to start with hearing me ex introduce the course and introduce myself. So in the Start Here tab, in the first lesson, the students will click onto this YouTube. So there you have it. I will be introducing to my students how to navigate through the course and introducing myself to my students. So when I created this course, I tried to create lessons that would really meet the needs of all learners. Um, the visual learners, I have very nice, clean, crisp graphics that you could visually understand what is happening. I also have auditory assignments. I have graphs. I have written um, explanations. And we'll enter into the second tab. And you can also see here, as I explained, the elements of arts, it's in form of graphics and in form of reading. And going back, I want to show you my first assignment. So assignment number one, grayscale drawing. And in this section, you will see that not only do I have the written directions, but I also have it very clear of exactly what they are to do. They have, they, they can upload this chart where they will then create a scale right on this chart that they could either copy or print out. They also have a YouTube video that will visually explain the directions. I've also created the rubric right here in this section that explains exactly what I am looking for. So they can check with the rubric and see how you, they will be graded. And then I have a visual of exactly what the assignment should look like. Going on to the next lesson, this is where they would upload the assignment, but the bigger lesson, which is assignment number two, Shading Shapes, and I think this is a little bit more of an in-depth tutorial. Here is where I created my module. The directions are written as well as um, in a handout form that they could print out step by step. Also, I have, um, as I go down the module, a tutorial for the visual learners so that they could learn exactly by, by viewing how to create the assignment. I put on the next part of the module visuals two examples of what the assignment should look like. I included an area where they could self-evaluate and critique themselves and they would click down here. At the very end I have the rubric for exactly what I would be looking for for this assignment. So I felt that this assignment was pretty complete and um, clear 
in, in understanding. And then lastly, as you can see, so that there was um, a need for group, I have an area where a wiki that I created where the students can upload uh, an image of what they created throughout the week and share with other students. So I'm hoping that this is um, a course that is intuitive, engaging, um, productive, sequential, and is engaging to all learners. So thank you for visiting my class, Drawing and Painting 1 for EDT 6020. Thank you.